There is no time to waste. We are here at the swap meet. Out here on the hunt today with Ricky, Mikey, Brixton, and Gabo. With a good amount of the squad ready to game hunt. It's, it's time. The excitement is real. When you got everyone together, the fun happens fast. Let's see what we can find today. Swap meet, game hunting time. This is a- Ricky, Ricky, already. Already. Wow. And I have a feeling we're gonna find a lot of things fast because there's so many of us. Let's do this. Literally first clip of the video. He's <laughs> just like, goodbye. into the swap meet. We're here. It feels good. It's exciting. What you getting? Uh, I actually don't have any of the Yoshi Amiibos in the yard. But just a few seconds later, Ricky actually does find, walking ahead of us, a Yoshi's Woolly World Amiibo. Pretty beat up, but let's see what the washer does to it. Or actually, you can actually use, uh, what's that, microfiber cloth? For only five bucks. So I know you see Amiibos kind of everywhere. I've always liked these Yoshi's Woolly World Amiibos. Dang, Ricky, that's pretty nice, dog. Right, it's not crazy. I feel like it sticks true to that, like you know, Yoshi's Island look, Yoshi's Woolly World. Good job, Ricky. It's cool family history of the Simpsons. Right after this, Mikey snags a Matrix pop. I'm surprised to see Mikey snag a pop that's loose. All right, so off top, I started off hot. I started off hot already. But I guess he actually got it for a good deal compared to what it's worth. So I got this Matrix pop. It's actually worth around thirty-two dollars. Thirty-two. And also, he got his awesome girlfriend a Hello Kitty. Matrix pop, and I got this for my girl. That's actually cool. I like that a lot. It looks really cool. So my girl's gonna be happy. And I know she's, I got you, babe. she's super into Hello Kitty, which I. I think is actually much cooler than the pop. I love things like this. I think it's really beautiful, to be honest. Now it's time for bye bye kitty. Bye bye kitty. It is what it is. Yabo, you need this? What? My key, my key, my key. What'd you find, my key? I love me the Sega Genesis, but I only play it the real way nowadays, okay? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a purist now. <laughs> I love Sega. Sega! Hey Ricky, just stay parked right there. Park right there. Perfect. There really is nothing like just being out with your buddies, goofing around, being outside, being carefree, being stupid. <laughs> That's what my enjoyment, a big part of my enjoyment in life is. Say what you want about it. And too bad the PS5 doesn't fit here. That's about, the, that's about the size of it. Yeah. But this... This keeps the soul, That's pretty big. keeps the heart, keeps it going, keeps, keeps it feeling good and pure and young, even though we're not very young. Anyone else remember when we liked our president? <laughs> sure to love that car honked when I said that. <laughs> Thanks a lot, hunker. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Ricky snags for Gabo something on the edge of the table, a nice, a pretty looking, very cool looking box. Uh, Star Wars Blu-ray, we got a new hope. Original trilogy on Blu-ray. Five Strike Back and Return of the Jedi, in my humble opinion, the best trilogy. Is that the best trilogy? The originals? Or is it the prequels? Or is it the new ones? Nobody thinks it's the new ones. Hey, wait, wait, wait. I still think Revenge of the Sith is my favorite, though. Sith, uh, to be honest. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yes, Ricky? But, I'm good. The Mandalorian's really good, though. Thank you, Jon Favreau. I don't know if I ever told you. I'm collecting everything dark, baby. Thanks for not going there. Normally, when he says, I don't know if I ever told you, I just stop listening at this point. <laughs> Look at that stance though. Listen, I've been skating my whole life and I don't think I've ever stood on a board like that. Every time I use the restroom, I stand like this. Oh my no. god. Pretty Caroline, oh, 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 stone cold stone. She was a Look at Ricky look, found these. The new kids on the block. Who here used to mess around with new kids on the block? I never thought they were that cool to be honest. I'm jealous, man. Now you have COVID. <laughs> right after this, we walk up to a table that has a bunch of Wii games sitting on the edge, and 
funny enough or interesting enough, a few of them were sealed. Ten bucks, what game is that right there? Zack and Wiki. Zack and Wiki sealed? Jack and Wiki is actually oh, that's perfect for me. a super good Capcom game on the Wii. Really? Uh, yeah, it's like a... A few of them were sealed. Some good games. Hey, if I'm gonna go sealed, I'd go this. Star Wars, Star Wars Force Unleashed sealed? Gabo hasn't played before that was sitting right there on the table and I was like, dude, you gotta get it. It's Zack and Wiki, a Capcom game, a puzzle action adventure game by Capcom. It came out in 2007. So, uh, but Zack and Wiki for the week. Zack and Wiki is such a fun game. I discovered this game many years ago, and since then I enjoyed the game. I've talked about it multiple times. I didn't look, but if I remember correctly, is it Quest for Barbados Treasure? Is that what it is? Yes, sir. Wow. That, I, you are good, That bro. was a good memory. But I feel like it's one of those Wii games that isn't over-popularized yet. It's honestly a really good, I think Metal Jesus talked about it way back in the day when it was like Wii Hidden Gems. So it's worth checking out and worth playing if you haven't. Gabo got it. I'm following you with this one. I never play and never hear it before. And he got it sealed. That's amazing. I trust this game because it's Capcom. That's all I got. Dang. You just gave yourself lice. This was kind of interesting because Ricky walks up to a table and I see him holding a Zelda Twilight Princess amiibo and I hear him say how much and the lady says a really cheap price. Oh, I really like that. What Skylander is that, Ricky? Uh, I think this is Phineas and Ferb. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then I see where Ricky grabbed it from and I realize she probably thinks this is a Skylander. Now, Ricky did nothing wrong. He wasn't like, how much for the Skylander? He didn't say anything to swindle her. Skylanders. Ricky wasn't like cheating her out of anything or anything because he just said, how much is this? He just held up the Amiibo and said, how much for this? And she said, just a few bucks. Three bucks. So a really cool find, Ricky. Ricky does good on Amiibos. I feel like Ricky has a good eye for Amiibos. He always finds them. But yeah, so very cool. Yeah. From, that's from uh, Twilight? Good job, Ricky. Twilight Dude, one of my favorite Zelda games is pretty good. If you haven't tried it, underrated game. I think the only Amiibos I have are ones Ricky gave me that he already had doubles of. In my humble opinion. <laughs> It's been a while since we had Ricky on the show. Brixton's buying some stickers for a buck, five for a dollar. Brixton buying some stickers. Oh my God, I like that one. Some Bart Simpson ones. Nice. A Mario. Kind of a rep idea. The best one to me is the toy machine, bro. That was my favorite. One of my favorite I, skate companies. I like this one. We're walking around next, and out of nowhere, Mikey's like, look what I got. And he got another loose pop. Two dollars, I had to buy Santa. Is that a pop? Yeah, it's a pop. Is that a Funko? And Santa that's pop. from the movie. A Santa Claus pop. Again, I'm not that into pops, but I am into Santa Claus. I love me some Christmas stuff. Yeah, <laughs> two dollars. <laughs> those are the best movies, dude. I love those movies. And then Mikey later on is like, hey, this pop is actually worth a decent amount of money, and I think he just got it for a couple bucks. There you go. There you go. Bruh. So Mikey's got the eye for the pops. Everyone has their thing. Mikey, he's got the the eyes for the pops. Is that a Funko over there? Oh, drive back. Wait, drive back. Oh. What are you going to buy right now? Drive back. <laughs> Uh, trash. I'm at this table with a bunch of toy stuff and I get so excited because it's one of those like baskets or bins at a place, at a toy place. So they, they have some of these little cart characters. The little toys that I like, they're kind of like the McDonald's-ish, Burger King-ish type of toys. It's all these rolling toys. Him, but I don't have Babs. I don't have some of these other Looney Tunes kids characters. I'm gonna see how much they are and grab a few of these. But it has all my favorite characters. It's got Bobby's World, Looney Tunes, Tailspin. All right, past couple booths, I kind of picked up a lot of these little like push figures, little rolling figures. At the one I just went out, I got two Bobby's World figures and I got a bag. Animaniacs, all of the little characters that I think go perfect to set on the edge of any gaming shelf in front of your stuff. From Tailspin, characters from Chippendale's Rescue Rangers, Gadget, got characters from Looney Tunes. There's Babs in here more tailspin characters. And 
These were only 50 cents each. That's amazing because sometimes you go to places like this, no, they're not expensive, but sometimes people are like, hey, a buck or two or even three bucks each. More Chippendale Rescue Rangers and more Tiny Toons Adventures. So, so very thankful to get them. 13 of them and I think I spent like five bucks. Very happy about that purchase. Beautiful, look at that. In your game room on the shelves in front of all your stuff. It makes me proud of my purchase. Like a pee-pee, proud purchase. Yeah. Nice, greatest Bible adventure. By Hanna Barbera. Oh, that's pretty Nintendo cool. Games. Oh, yeah. Frogger, what they got, Mikey? Ice hockey. Ooh, double dribble. Could it be? A beautiful in the box. Atari 5200. Right. I like your super system. Look at this. This centipede, only on the Atari 5200 Super System. But aren't they hard to find? They're everywhere. Everywhere? The Atari 5200 Super System. Atari 5200, my gosh. Free Free Pokemon. Pokemon. Let's see it, let's see it. This thing was beautiful. All of us were like, <gasps> Look at that Star Trek game. Wow, that is cool. But when we see it, we are all genuinely excited to see it. Not because any of us necessarily have that much interest in Atari stuff. Mm -hmm. Hey, yo, this thing is brand new. It's interesting. Star Trek football. But it's in the box, and it's beautiful. And my gosh, the box is big. It's large. It's got games inside. I'm wondering if 100 bucks, if 100 bucks is even a bad price. I don't know nowadays. When we asked the price, they said 100, and again, we don't really know if that's that good of a deal because we're not super into Atari. I really like the Sears stickers. I liked how it said free Pac-Man on the yeah. side. Pretty cool. No, it's in really good shape. Actually, I'm thinking about it. If she said 50 bucks, I feel like I would have easily made an offer on that. Not saying it was overpriced, I just don't know. Wow. That's really cool, to be honest. <laughs> Gabo then goes on to buy an Anakin Skywalker with like a totally boo boo lightsaber. It doesn't really work. But this, the figure's kind of cool. Oh, oh. <laughs> He's got yeah. a broken lightsaber. Gabo. I don't know if I ever told you. I'm collecting everything Darth Vader. Bro, you just told us that like two minutes ago. Okay, well anyway. You've told me like a thousand times that you're into Darth Vader. Look like Darth Anakin is missing the lightsaber. I know, I love you, but you've told me. I don't know if I ever told you. I don't know if I ever told you. Normally when he's he says, I don't know if I ever told you, I just stop listening at this point. <laughs> This is very interesting. A while ago, like a year ago in one of our episodes. Let's go back to a couple of episodes ago. A couple of episodes, that was over a year ago. Well, whatever. Gabo tried to buy LA Machine Guns, a Wii game. It's kind of a pricey Wii game. You guys remember that I commit a rookie mistake. I bought this game, but it was not the real game. But when he bought the game, he never checked the disc inside. And when he walked away, the game wasn't in there. So he went back and he returned it. Gabo's walking out all excited, like, oh, I told you guys I love this game, I did so good, I know the Wii, I'm smart. He opens it up. What was it, Parents of the Caribbean? <laughs> I found out it was uh, some Lego game. And I was like, really? And then all of a sudden, he has to go back, and he's like, oh, don't worry, I got the game, he's gonna have the game. He goes over there, he doesn't have the game. And uh, yeah, like he said, he would have had a, a $40 game for 10 bucks. And he walked out and it was like Lego Pirate. But funny enough, not too long ago, Ricky found him the disc only for this game. So when we walked by the booth, Gabo was like, what if they have the disc box still? And thanks to Riquito, he told me, hey, hey dude, check it out. They have the box over there, <laughs> ask for it. And guess what? They did. Gabo went back, who knew? A year later, got the box, already has the disc now, and now he has the complete game. A pretty pricey Wii game as well. I have it. Now you have it complete. I got it. And that game's what? Like 
30 yeah. bucks or something? Or two bucks. Good job, Gabo. We did it. Oh, that's really good gaming humor. Yeah, very I'm cool. ready to go home. Now Grab you it. have it. Complete. I like gaming humor. Just the other day, I got done watching Karate Kid 1, Karate Kid 2, and Karate Kid 3, and Cobra Kai. So Johnny Lawrence has been wearing these quarter sleeve shirts kind of inspiring me. Yes. This might be the cringiest shirt of all time. The shirt I'm wearing right now. I got it at the swap meet. I've been really inspired by Johnny Lawrence of Cobra Kai, also old Karate Kid. For just five bucks. I've, I've said this so many times when game hunting. Look, I just got this one for five bucks. A Paul McCartney one. I love Paul McCartney's music. I love Wingspan almost just as much as Beatles music. Swap meets have some really cool shirts for super cheap. If you can get a cool shirt for five bucks, I got me a Paul McCartney one, uh, one of these quarter sleeves, almost full length, long sleeve t-shirts. So really cool colors. It's a little bit bigger than my size, but that's okay. These kind of shirts shrink a lot. And Paul McCartney, well, I've probably said to you a million times before. I like that guy. It's quiet on the road. Daytime, nighttime suffering is all she gets. So, oh no. Brixton out of nowhere stops at this booth and he's like, Dad, I'm really feeling some of these pops. I'm liking the way they look. And I said, that's kind of the way you have to do it, son. If you if you want something, don't let someone else tell you that, oh, this is cool or maybe you should get that. You'll know when it speaks to you. So for him, he was debating on what to get and he walked away. The the officer Mac. I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty proud of him because if I had to pick a pop from there, that's probably one of the ones I would have got out of like three that I would really like. That would definitely be Back one. Here. I'm so happy. I was over I here like not even, not even caring. High five. High five him, Brixton. Mikey was very proud though. Mikey was like, like a proud dad. Cool find, Brixton, nice job. Once again, being outdoors, breathing in fresh oxygen, bringing with your friends, moving, having fun, laughing, smiling. Today feels like like a good day. It feels like a good day. The sun's out, the sun's shining, the whole squad's here. Everyone's just kind of, well, not the whole squad. We're missing a couple members, but it just feels good. This is how you stay healthy, my friends. I just like the robot look. It's like, uh, feels, feels amazing, honestly. I got Dang. my mama something too. <laughs> mama, you gonna like this? I don't know what it is, but it looks cool. That's a, a purple hinker. Oh, yeah, that's what the guy said. No, yeah. I'm <laughs> We're walking by this booth, and my son kind of peeks over at this Roblox stuff, and the guy's like, hey, kid, you want to buy this? And they go for 60, and I'm like, oh, here we go, here we go. Don't don't try to pressure my kid guy. Dang. Everybody put in five bucks, and Brixton put in a 20. But then, he's like, no, they really go for 60. Check them out. I'll sell them to your son for 40. I was like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, these are like... 60 bucks. Then he ends up going down to 35 and we're like, oh, okay, you know what? I looked him up online. I'm like, yeah, they, they might go for 60. I kind of peaked really quick. This kid, man, has got the support of the squad on the side. All my friends and me were trying to, you know, help Brixton out. He put in 20 of his own money. And you know, when you're with someone young that's getting into collecting, you're like, yeah, here, I'll give you five. I'll give you five. I'll give you five. We all kind of pitched in to help him out. <laughs> this is actually pretty cool, not gonna lie. It comes with a lot of toys. When I was a kid, this was the kind of stuff that would make you super happy when it comes with like tons of figures. Wait till later. We were wrong on how much those were worth. That's pretty cool stuff. Brick. I try these. Really cool. My gosh, Brixton. Great job, dude. Holy cow. I see another one of these shirt places and I'm like, all right, we gotta look here because I'm loving these kind of shirts. Ooh, Bricks, there we go. More shirts. And I love the Paul McCartney one that I picked up and I start looking around. I just found two more shirts of the style that I like, the way I like it. Boom, right away. Awesome Def Leppard shirt. Really cool looking. I really like the way this one looks. So I got a Def Leppard one. Love the colors on this one with the black, with like the heather black. But then also I see a U2, more of like a concert style type of shirt, more of like a concert tour shirt. And then I also got a U2 one. It's more like a tour style one, a 1992 tour. U2 is awesome. U2 is one of those bands that I forgot how much I loved them. I really like it. And this one really speaks to me because I've always liked U2, but recently I put a U2 Pandora station. I want to go where the streets have no name. And I've really been getting back into the sound. Man, U2 is very like soothing and almost like pumpy slow, but also really powerful. I, I mean, I, I guess a lot of that goes to Edge and also Bono's voice. I mean, and everyone else in the band, but man, really happy to get a U2 shirt like this. Again, five bucks each, unreal. This is the evidence how good is the PS5. 
They already have games in the Swat Me for the PS5. I don't see Series X games around. It's right behind them. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> keep hunting, keep hunting, keep hunting. Hey! Hey, this is pretty cool. Look, this is Deadpool. <laughs> got a lot of choices. I got a lot of ways that I can go. I hear a lot of voices. Never stop hunting, hunting, hunt, 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 hunt. Oh, we find something here, something there, fine. <laughs> I got her, bro. Well, look at the difference. I got that in my stomach. <laughs> Brixton's starting to make us look bad here. Just a couple booths down. All right, another pickup right now. A 2003 SpongeBob alarm clock that even moves. Go ahead and move it around, Brixton. Brixton finds a retro, almost 20 years old, SpongeBob alarm clock, and even better, Brixton bottom. We, we walked by and I was actually like, hey, that'd actually be a really cool display to go on top of a shelf. Even being able to plug it in, maybe it makes some SpongeBob sound effects or something like that. They wanted 10 and I heard Brixton barter them down to six. Right, like, I'm happy you got it, buddy. This is gonna look really cool on your shelf. Brixton Good is find. killing it today. Brixton is killing it. Yeah. Brixton's kind of holding it together for all of us. I was like, <laughs> that's my boy. Nice job, bud. High five the camera. Proud of you, son. The purchasing is going crazy today. Everyone's buying every other minute. Mikey, again, buys something else for his awesome girl hey. again. Bro, you know what I'm buying this boy. <laughs> a Funko Pop. Hey, so I always buy something for my girl because... Because you're a good boyfriend. When she collects, I collect now too. Got it. So we got a Sailor Moon thing right here. Dang, that's actually cool. It's super cool. And look, this is one of my favorite characters. Some Sailor Moon stuff. She loves Sailor Moon. <laughs> okay, I got Jiren right here. And then Mikey also gets this Dragon Ball Z figure, Jiren. It's one of the really strongest cool. characters in Dragon Ball. I think it's cool that they modeled it after my body, though. That most people don't know, they, they, they modeled his body after mine. That's, they saw one of my selfies years ago when I had social media and was like, that guy. That's what Jiren's gonna look like. Jiren, my real name's Aaron. You tell me if I'm wrong. Dang, those Mighty Duck things were too expensive. I actually really wanted them. I have Mighty Ducks figures. I have something you should get. What is that? <laughs> for Gabo's beautiful, amazing daughter, Emma, his newly born daughter, Emma, he buys her a little. For baby Emma? Baby Emma. Wow, oh my gosh, I forgot how small little kids are. What better way to welcome, welcome a, a sweet, innocent little girl in the world with an Iron Maiden shirt? And of course, the Ramones. Yeah. Beautiful, sir. Emma? You got a cool dad. Well, she'll be happy. Rock well, on! If she could talk. <laughs> There's one thing I always carry with me, Gabo. Here you go, sir. I got it. Oh! Mikey has been reading comics lately, and I know nothing about comics, let me make it clear, but Mikey buys this Batman figure that is gorgeous, and, and I love me Batman. I've actually been reading comics lately. Wow. Me reading? I know. But man, this thing is beautiful, it's detailed. Mikey! The one I've been reading is actually called Dark Knight Metal, and this is the Batman who laughs. One of the craziest yeah. villains you're gonna see yeah, That there. is a beautiful little figure too. Well, not little, but. It's, awesome. it's a crazy storyline. Don't don't take this wrong, but you collect pops which have like no design, barely any detail, and then you collect beautiful figures like this. Maybe this maybe this Batman figure is gonna turn you. I'm super into it right now. I bought every single comic for it, so turn you away to go to the detailed side. Batman who laughs. I had to get him. Do you I like spend it? way too much money. Do you like it more than your My Little Pony collection? Uh, no, but I like it more than my Care Bears uh, oh, collection. So. What about your Trump training cards collection? Oh, um, I actually sold them already. Oh, really? Yeah. United States of America. <laughs> Right, right. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with pops, though. Don't, don't get me wrong. Gotta have my pops. Fun day at the swap meet, but it's time Ooh. to say goodbye. Whoa, that was went right next to me. Holy, holy cow. 
bye, 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 laugh, 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 fun, fun, fun. Today was beyond fun with my friends. Goofing around, buying things, being silly, everyone was finding stuff. Oh, I thought it was a ball. Everybody say goodbye. Oh. These are the days that dreams are made of. If you're a true collector, a real collector, don't take that wrong, anyone else, but if you collect because you love collecting, these are the days and the reasons you do it. Wow, that was fail. Go, Bricks, go. Bye. For the fun and the finds. That's it, nothing else. Oh my gosh. Mikey? Wow. Look at that. It screamed. It was like, see you later. Bye. On my way home, I need to eat some food. I need to grab something. Gabo's coming over to hang out for a little bit, and man. Quickly hit up El Pollo Loco. Gabo's behind me. I tried to do like one of those things where you buy the food for the person behind you. Maybe a little trickle effect. First up, Gabo. I never asked Gabo if he did it though for the person behind him. I wanted to do like one of those train things where I buy Gabo's food and then he buys someone's food and then bing, 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 before you know it, everyone's buying each other's food and it's a. That's, hey, that's my friend behind me. It's a smile on your brother. Gabo just honked at us, so I think he realized that we bought his food. Collect for the retro PS5! Look at this guy! I'm getting mugged! Did I ever tell you this is Freedom Land? Freedom Land! I was literally just telling him why you call it Freedom Land. I love Ooh, I love your shirt, by the way. Gabo honestly loves my area. Every time he comes down, he calls it Freedom Land. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He just paid me the food without Aww. asking. Whatever. Whatever. Thanks. Duh. Hey, chill, bro. We'll be good. We're we're cool, bro. Did I ever tell you I love this area? I love it. Freedom land. Freedom! Holy moly, this is the part where I go to look at Brixton's Roblox and actually look at it more in detail without the sun glaring in my eyes, and I'm like, whoa. All right, so we were at my house kind of talking about some of the stuff we got, and Gabo mentioned this. We were like, yeah, it was a pretty cool deal. The guy said they're maybe worth like 50. We got it for 35. Sold, just sold too, on eBay. I just looked online. Sold, this is sold on eBay, just now, two days ago, $129. Brixton paid like, what, 30, $35, did I say? $129, this exact one, this exact one. When I was a kid, there was no way I would have saved anything for value, never. If you look at the characters, it's the exact pack. Wow, dude. Just sold for $129. Nice goal. Wow. wow. That's all for today's episode. I hope you are doing what you want to do to have fun and stay healthy and enjoy your life. I hope you do it the way that works best for you. And otherwise, that's it. Have a great day. We honestly, honestly appreciate you. Spread love out there, people. Adios. I don't know what this was. Go, Gabo, run! As an adult, if that's what you want to call me. Hey, bro, you got a problem. Hey, lady. Are you in a dirty? What's up? Stop. Whoa. Oh, bro, you don't do that, bro. That's extra safe. That's some new level of brainwashing <laughs> right there. <laughs> oh, oh. Not gonna lie, Mikey's been buying a lot today. Are you in the pump? Oh, I love the perfect sticker. Nice stickers, dude. Mikey! Gabo, what, what did you just give my son? Ten dollars. just gave you ten bucks to shop? Yeah. Dang, Ricky's never done that. Ricky's only asked him for ten dollars. Messed it up right there, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. Now you got COVID. <laughs> oh man, that hurt. Hey, if you don't like it, you can go talk on Parlor about how you don't like it. You can like talk about it. Keep on. No, I got banned from there, bro. Yeah. Do you guys have a uh, newborn size? Do you guys have small? Let's go old together in this community. <laughs> Maybe it's his kid. Uh, definitely not. Cool. Get away from me.